hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with eden zero episode number five all right so the previous episode it was uh uh what can i say it was a tough episode because of a certain thing that happened later on uh we met a character uh called i think her name was pino yeah yeah it was pino wasn't it um if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but I'm sure we'll like, you know, my memory will get refreshed after I start this episode. But anyways, we met her and she's kind of a ro not a robot, but kind of like, a, you know, a machine, just like happy, I'm guessing. And uh, she was also kind of transported here, uh, just like uh, Shiki and Rebecca, but she came a lot earlier than them, I'm guessing and the whole thing with her getting involved in that uh, group that thug you know that th group of thugs and like the what happened how they were treating her was really uh, uncomfortable in my opinion and uh, i did not like that portion at all the way they were treating her you know and kind of uh, like tearing off her limbs and that stuff so that and uh, yeah that that was a bit you know like uncomfortable even for my tastes <laughs> and like like we see like she can kind of getting resolved uh finding his resolve and saying that okay like we'll go save him and rebecca is also kind of uh like you know all for it and they're probably going to go and save her now and i don't know where wise went uh wise probably is like we'll see like what happens after this and i really want those guys like you know uh, those thugs that uh, captured her to get what they deserve like i really want to see that so i hope you know this episode kind of uh, shows us how they get their judgment and yeah like you know like uh, oh also another one big thing that happened was is like we got to know uh, like uh, was that in this in this episode or the previous episode that they um they have come from the future i mean like it's not that wise has like you know it's not that wise time traveled it's they they time traveled like that's another fascinating thing that happened like i was really like quite surprised at that fact and like also like pino is also from their time so a lot of things are happening and i'm really like you know happy about and how this is like you know advancing and it's a really interesting story i have to say and so let's see let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started with episode number five of eden zero so i'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay. Latest maintenance data. Okay, this thing. Yeah. This is where they get to know that she's actually from the future. Hmm. Yeah. She will. That's okay. Oh God. Uh. Oh no. What? Okay, why is this here? Take the whole Yeah. Mission started. Oh. Okay, so there's some kind of a big deal. What is that, a pizza?
<laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, he's pretty strong. Like he can use gravity, like you know. Like that's like one of the most unique powers. Okay, that was. I'm looking forward how they're going to defeat Sibir. And I want it to be a crushing defeat, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, so this was Pino. I never kind of noticed it in her in the opening, but after she got introduced. Okay, so another thing that I noticed here is that lady um, who looks like Mira Jane's Satan Soul transformation. Like, you know, she's going to be one of the crewmates? Okay, that's interesting. I thought she was a villain or something, you know? The way she looked. <laughs> okay. Scrap. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah. God. God, what the? Come on, wise. Come on, this is really. Thank God. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> it would be wasted on you. Yeah, because they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> they come through the window? <laughs> Wait, is, was he using his gravity magic? Uh, gravity thing on? Gravity wave! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> And punch them now. There you go. Like, Shiki doesn't need to go in front of them and punch them. He can just call them to him and then punch them. <laughs> wow. Oh no! Happy's with him! <laughs> um, well, you're sitting on Happy, so... Damn, they cut her off, cut him off. Oh. 
What the? Well, he has gravity magic, so I think he'll be fine. Well, he has... Wait. Wait, he's running away? Okay, it is. Foot of... Oh, foot to brothers. Um, what's with that? We are the <laughs> Food Brothers. <laughs> That's how the name comes. <laughs> Savat Okay Yeah Ha <laughs> Damn happy Future cat Yeah Yeah. What? Oh, did he like break through the floor or something? Yeah, he must have. Oh, no, bugs! Oh no, the robots. No, he's going to get reminded of, you know? Yeah. That's not Michael, that's like, you know, another robot. Oh, wait, really? Oh, I thought it was just a r normal robot. Is this really Michael? Johnny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're like a robot, you know? Uh. Who knows, maybe Michael is here, like... Like, there you go, there's so many of them. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh no, like he was not a... Oh, maybe. So I'm guessing. It, yeah, it was just a role. He is not a real. Yeah, oh boy.
What the hell is with this guy? Like. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, what, what? Oh. But so, like, he kind of blackmailed her that, you know, like, if you don't do your job. Oh, God, I'll mess with the other androids. Damn. Whoa. Yeah, that's why they're called Food Brothers, you know. <laughs> oh, their food from oh no <laughs> oh my god <laughs> shoot them or maybe punch them that's better or kick them that's even better <laughs> whoa Kick them, kick them. That's I think that's the bad best. What? Oh, it's shaking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's the end of the Fruit Brothers. Wait, who is this? Whoa. Oh no, this guy's. Okay. Oh no, and yeah, they're here. Yeah, she, like, you know, she's still, there you go. Well, yes. Oh, okay, there you go. Shik is here. Ha! Wow. Did he just go through it? Yeah, whoa! <laughs> he completely broke through it. You're in mid-air, dude. What? What is some kind of, some kind of super arm? Oh! He was unable to unleash his ultimate attack. He got interrupted. Okay, yeah. Augmented arm. Oh. Well, he has gravity magic, so I think... Oh no, it connected. 
I was thinking he could repel him or something. Yeah, like he knows that the best because of his background. Damn. <clears throat> Star. Okay. Just a sec. <laughs> I have to say, this the gravity thing is really OP. I like you can do so much, so many things, so many things with this. Oh no! That owl! God damn it! That owl! What's it doing? Is it. Oh god! This owl was the last boss! Is it self destructing? Yeah! Oh god! Okay, yeah, there you go, that will work. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Happy also <Joseph> fried. Yeah. Put your hands up. Wait. Oh. You can punch him. That's one option. What is that? Oh. Okay, that's even better. You can whack him. Yeah. No, he's not okay. Just, just, you know, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Lick <Lincoln. laughs> Okay, that was fun. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is uh, Elsie's ship, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa, what's with the interior designing of this ship? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. So are we going to meet Elsie in the next episode? I'm looking forward to it if that's the case. Okay. Well, I'm content with the amount of beating that Sybil got, you know? Okay, one thing. 
is like why is going to join their crew like if that is the case like from the opening and the ending we can see like he's with them won't this kind of mess with the whole like you know time space continuum or what do you call that the whole you know paradox thing that happens i'm sure we'll get an explanation later on you know like like obviously i i i hope they're going to they like, you know come back to the original time like shiki and rebecca so if that happens and wise joins them i don't know let's wait for it i'm sure we'll get an explanation about <laughs> okay all right that's the end yep okay so that was this episode this was episode number five of eden zero and yeah like obviously see got what he deserved and you know like i doubt like probably they're going to uh hand him over to the authorities and he's going to go to prison or something i'm not sure and something's probably going to happen after this like he'll get his punishment <coughs> excuse me and okay so this episode this episode had nothing much to talk about like they like you know they went to uh go get pino uh, pino back and you know in that process uh they had to go and like they had to defeat uh Sibir and his crewmates and also the foot brothers <laughs> like you know uh it was basically like <clears throat> uh like food brothers and like shiki kind of defeated the food brothers in a way so you know that was it like i think shiki yeah shiki defeated all of them like he defeated the food brothers and also the um, also shibit so i have to say one thing that is like i said this before but his gravity magic i think is a bit too overpowered <laughs> i don't know <laughs> you know like like just imagine like he doesn't even have to go to the enemies to punch them he can just call the enemies to him so that he could punch them like that's what happened there were like you know how many like 10 or 12 enemies and he just kind of convert, like you know attracted them using the gravity magic and punched them and he can fly that's another big thing and he can use these kind of like you know uh attacks where he can kind of compress the gravity and kind of use it as a you know an energy beam or something i'm not sure but some kind of thing like that and it has some really well you know if you can use this power well i think you can probably defeat a lot of strong enemies so yeah and Uh, and also like we got to see here that there are a lot of robots underground now he kind of said that uh, the the robot uh, what was his name johnny he said that we are a mass-produced version so and we like you know we are the discarded ones so i'm guessing you know uh what was his name um michael michael was produced here and somehow he got like you know he he got transported to granville wasn't it so i don't know this can kind of <clears throat> like you know like obviously i i doubt all the robots were born in granville i think they <clears throat> like you know inhabited the place from other other planets came here and as they said like it was like an amusement park a theme park and when the people stopped coming there it kind of got neglected and you know like <clears throat> people forgot about them and the person like the robot who was playing the role of the demon king he brought shiki from somewhere else <clears throat> so these are all like you know all in like shrouded in mystery and secret 
so i'm sure we'll get further information down the road and <clears throat> we're going to know how like you know where the robots came from where the chicky came from and the actual like you know backstory this is barely the start i'm sure it will take a little bit of time we're probably going to get introduced to all the characters here now we already met two yeah two characters uh wise and um pino who i'm also guessing is going to join the crew so like i think pino joining the crew is all okay but i'm quite curious as to how wise is going to join because he's from this time and she can rebecca from future so won't that kind of be a problem in itself who knows let's just wait for it and <clears throat> yeah and so like just a sec all right so cb was um, holding the, them hostage the other androids now oh okay so i don't know like and this this portion is kind of like as thinking like she's from the future isn't she so like like who is who is who is like civil even holding hostage i'm guessing the other androids who were not shown so most probably like pino came here a lot earlier than shiki and rebecca i'm guessing so that's why like i'm guessing like uh, pino kind of got acquainted with the other androids and everything so which was taken advantage of by civil and he said that oh like you want you know you want them to you want me not to mess with them so you better do your work you better help me you know uh do the things that i'm going to tell you to do otherwise your friends are going to get hurt something like that i'm guessing and i have to say like i really did not like civil at all like villains in you know like animes i've seen like most of the villains are kind of even though they're even if they're not likable you know they are kind of it's kind of neutral because they have their own goal and stuff and they you know like they can do can do bad things to get those kind of goals like if shivir was only like you know like a, a bad guy who was doing these kind of things that would have been not fine obviously but he would have been okay as a villain but the things that he did is like by you know like kind of tearing off the limbs like that was sick i have to say like like i cannot explain like like imagine like like imagine tearing off someone's limbs and that person kind of you know crying and showing their emotions in front of you while you are tearing off the limbs like that's sick i have to say even though pino is like you know a machine like it, it was really uncomfortable seeing him like kind of you know plucking off the legs while pino was you know kind of crying in pain like that was that made me really uncomfortable and that guy was like laughing like th th that's pretty sick i have to say so i have no remorse for this guy he should probably go to prison and like you know rot in there for as long as he lives like that would be the proper punishment in my opinion like he was like doing all of these things for money and stuff you know and like to control the town or whatever his grand agenda was i don't care but like you know the thing that he did to pino I mean, i'm sure like that's just something that we saw like it's not just pino i'm sure like the other androids and the other robots who were with him also got the same treatment so he has been doing this for so long like that's what's like you know more sickening than the whole thing that he is doing you know like he's trying to rob the whole town and like like those are bad but this is sick so yeah like i'm 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 like you know i'm i'm glad that he got what he deserved and i hope that the authorities get him and put him into prison and he never gets out yeah that would be good 
and EMP kind of, uh, like EMP, uh, sorry, Pino kind of used her EMP but in the last moment and that kind of, uh, you know, helped. Now, I have to say their, their uh, you know, their, their powers are really interesting. Like Shiki uses gravity, Pino uses EMP. Now this will ki kind of make the future enemies who uses, you know, this kind of electricity thing. Like, they won't be able to do anything in front of Pino. So, it's really interesting to see, like, how these powers are kind of broken, you know, in a way. Because, like, just imagine, like, in this episode, we see um, Weiss kind of taking up that gun and trying to shoot him. But that EMP completely rendered it useless. So, that means, like, any kind of mechanical, like, you know, electrical thing. For example, that huge robot. Like... Shiki wouldn't even have to break it if like Pino used the EMP from the beginning. Obviously she did not use it because she was still traumatized by that whole factor that you know like the whole uh, CBD kind of is going to treat the androids you know badly like she was kind of blackmailing him because of that like he, she did not use it in the beginning. But if he was in a normal if she was in a normal state of mind she could have ended this uh, battle in just you know five seconds. That's the amount of time it would have taken. So that's why I'm saying like, you know, their powers, like the individual powers are kind of broken in a way for like specific situations. Like Pino would be like, what can I say? Like the ultimate um, threat to uh, electrical enemies, like these kind of robots who kind of uh, like, you know, run on electricity or battery, whatever. And like, she would be like the ultimate threat to them. Shiki, Shiki is a, like uh, is completely on a league of his own. Like he can manipulate gravity, so like you know he can do a lot of things with that. And I'm not sure what why I, I'm guessing why is this kind of like the um you know inventor. He, he's probably going to like make these kind of gadgets and stuff. He kind of said in this episode that I made that arm for um Sibir. So I'm guessing he will be kind of like the blacksmith of you know the crew not a blacksmith <laughs> but you know what i'm trying to say like he'll be like uh, in charge of the weaponry and the gadgets and stuff i'm guessing and rebecca is um rebecca is like the what can i say like rebecca can use happy as a weapon but if pino uses <laughs> the EAP, happy will be rendered useless so I don't know. I'm I'm guessing Rebecca probably might like in the future might get a uh, you know power upgrade or something because I think uh, like at least up until now uh, Rebecca is in the weaker side. So I'm sure she'll get powered up later on as the time like you know as uh, uh, the series goes on because obviously in fairy tale as well like Lucy in the beginning was really weak. I have like she only had these like you know the cell still spirits and everything and that was just it like like she was quite weak in the beginning but as time went on like she went like she got so many things like you know so many new powers um the whole uh what do you call it like fusion with the celestial spirits and stuff like that was amazing and like her kind of powering up she even defeated a lot of like strong enemies herself so like it took a little bit of time but you know like she kind of was able to grow as a character as time went on i'm sure like rebecca will also go through something like that in this show as well so yeah and <clears throat> and yeah so like yeah what i was saying i was kind of saying something else like like they have like these kind of specific powers which are kind of like overpowered like at least for pino and shiki like pino is completely broken in one department like the whole electric department like she can render anything useless and shiki will be the gravity you know like the gravity boy like he can do so many things with gravity and wise will make them like you know like new gadgets and weapons which might like you know which will be another uh, advantage to them like uh yeah so <laughs> i'm looking forward to this crew <laughs> you know how this is going to and i don't know like i think probably elsie will also like join them i don't know what elsie's power is or like you know what what she, she's probably she'll probably be a like you know swordsman or something just like fairy tale and she's kind of like we kind of know that she's a space pirate so it will be something like that i'm guessing so 
yeah um, and if like if the next episode like is uh like we're going if we are going to meet elsie in the next episode i'm li- really looking forward to it because as i said like elsa was like one of my most favorite characters in fairy tale and as far as i could see like elsie and elsa are just the same so i'm really looking forward to meet her you know and yeah so that was it guys that was this episode this was episode number five of eden zero so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next week same time with another episode of eden zero so until then goodbye and have a nice day